<laughs> hey everyone, welcome to our general knowledge trivia. How's everyone doing? How are we surviving quarantine? <laughs> Cheryl, just rubbing off my whiteboard. Hey, Jane. Hey, Gus. Yup. Yup describes how I'm surviving quarantine, too. All right. Well, welcome, guys, to the first online trivia. Uh, my name is Louise. I am from Sydney. I started this group uh, to start with so we can have something to entertain ourselves uh, while we're all stuck in self-isolation. And then hopefully when all this is done, we can move this into real person uh, trivia and game shows. Um, just to give you an idea, I've been working on cruise ships for the past four years and I was cruise staff. So I did all of the trivias and game shows on the cruise ships. So I wanna use those skills to bring a little bit of fun and joy to your stuck at home time. Uh, just a quick note, I mentioned that we need to make the switch, but this is how it's going to work today. I have 20 general knowledge questions, a little bit of everything. I'm going to ask the question and then the first person to answer is going to get a point and I'll have a little board so I'm keeping the score. Um, also, uh, it's YouTube and sometimes there's a delay. So you might put your answer in and then, no, I'm not on a cruise right now. <laughs> Thank goodness. Um, so you might put your answer in and then someone puts their answer in and it comes up in front of yours because your internet provider is not that great. So your points are also going to depend on the quality of your internet provider. Um, but I'll give a point to whoever I see pop up on the screen with the correct answer first. And I'm also going to offer an additional point for each question for whoever gives me what I deem as the funniest answer. OK, so there's going to be two points up for grabs every question. Good. I'm gonna presume show when my internet is just slow. So we'll get going, we'll do question number one. So question number one is, I think my internet's just slow, all right. How many stories or floors does the Empire State Building have? And don't use Google, guys, it's just boring if you use Google. I'll give you a hint, there's more than one. Definitely more than 48. Not there yet. 108 is the closest. Aha! Garth, 102. Garth is on <laughs> Leah. <laughs> I think Leah gets the funny points. All right, that is question one closed. Garth a point, Leah a point. I like unlimited too. Okay. Question number two, listen closely to what I'm asking. This always confuses people. What element's name starts with the letter K? There we go, Gemma, she was listening. Krypton, guys, I asked for the name, not the symbol. Anyone with a funny point? Okay, moving on. Question number three. Which of the two senses, and I need both of them for the point, are known to become duller after eating spicy food? Mm 
Not taste and smell. Misty, it might be your internet. You probably can't hear me. Yes, Jane, smell and hearing. So we had the right answer, taste and hearing. So when you eat spicy food, supposedly it like expands the, uh, <laughs> I don't know what you call them, the, you know, ear, nose, throat cavity. And it's known to affect some people's hearing. Um, so obviously it will affect the taste, but it will make the hearing duller. Um, and guys, this is not an excuse if your wife is calling to the dishes to be like, oh, sorry, honey, I can't hear you. Your food was really spicy today. All right, moving on. That's three closed. Number four, in the movie Matilda, what is the name of Matilda's school principal? Rowan. Miss Honey was the teacher. Uh, how do I pronounce that in Spanish? Troncha, troncha toro. <laughs> no, that's okay. I, I saw it, Bronwyn. Is it Bronwyn? I think so. You came up first, you got the point. Uh, Gemma, I like that Mrs. McGilly Gutty. All right, closing off question number four. She will throw you in the chokey. You don't want her as a principal. Moving on to question number five. What was the first planet to be discovered by a telescope in 1781? Not Venus, not Mars, nope, nope. The moon is not a planet. Yes, Elmar who put it because he was being immature, it was Uranus. Pluto. <laughs> was Pluto supposed to be funny? That's a really good telescope. All right, closing off question number five, on to question number six. This comes with a little bit of pre-knowledge. Earth, I like that, Mark, I'm giving that a point. They made the telescope and then pointed it at the ground. All right, question number six comes with a little bit of pre-trivia, so this is for your knowledge. The largest cruise ship in the world is the Symphony of the Seas. It is approximately 361 meters in length. So, to the nearest whole number, how many laps around the Symphony of the Seas would it take to complete a half marathon? Mm. It 
It is less than 203, but more than 22. It is in between 25 and 36. Oh. We're close, someone was close there. A few people close. <laughs> Leo, you're close. Still don't have it yet. Fiona also close. Wait, Shano, Shano Jebs. You got it. It is 31.3 laps around the Symphony of the Seas to run a half marathon. Yes, it can take longer if the ship's in really rocky waters. All right, closing off question number six. Moving on to question number seven. Number seven, what does the F in FBI stand for? Uh, yes, Shano Jebs, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I actually did it, I was training for a half marathon when I was working there. It, it is very correct, I have worked it out. It took me three hours. There we go, Shano Jobs, Federal gets the point. <laughs> okay, Bronwyn, fairly good. I like that. That gets a point. There you are. Shane, let me change that, Shane. Okay, we've got a three way tie right now between Gemma. Bronwyn and Shane, each with two points. Question number eight. What spacecraft exploded in 1986, killing the seven astronauts inside? Yes, Sharenza? <laughs> it is the challenger, Sharenza? I think I'm pronouncing that right, got the point. <laughs> Death Shuttle. <laughs> Death Star. Oh, that's hard. How do I choose between the two? I think I'm going to have to give two points out there. Paul, are you on the board yet? And Leah. All right. Number eight is closed. Number nine. American supermarkets introduced what kind of codes in the mid-70s? There's two correct answers to this.
Barcodes, yes. There's also something else I would accept. Does anyone know what else it might be? <laughs> Bronwyn, dress codes. Morse codes. <laughs> so they're also known as UPC codes, I believe. So that would have been acceptable as well. Broad one got the funny point there with dress codes, I think. Da Vinci code. <laughs> All right, number seven is closed. Number 10. What is the name of Dr. Zeus's egg hatching elephant? Horton, Bronwyn gets the point again. Oh, Bronwyn is taking a lead. <laughs> Dumbo. Jumbo. She is. Bronwyn is definitely a speedy typer. All right, question number 10 is closed. Question number 11. In the classic Disney animated film, Alice in Wonderland, what was Alice called by the talking flowers? Girl. <laughs> Pedal is close. <laughs> I like that. Hey, you. Are you on the board yet? Yeah, there you are. There we go. Daniela, a weed. She was called a weed. People normally tell me for their funny point that she was called a word that rhymes with witch. They are mean flowers. All right, that's question number 11 closed. Question number 12, which inland sea touches both Turkey and Russia? Not the Dead Sea, not the Red Sea. There you go, Gemma, Black Sea. Sorry, Paul, it's just who shows up on my uh, feed first. So if your internet provider is, is perhaps slower than someone else's, you have kind of a disadvantage. The disco colored sea. 
Capsic who flew Capsican? <laughs> okay, I have to give that to Melissa. Melissa got the funny point. That's okay, Stephanie. If I did this trivia before I knew the answers, I would have been really bad at it too. General trivia is generally pretty hard. All right, that's question number 12 closed. Question number 13. How many points does a Yahtzee score? Maybe you can get a refund from them, Paul. Bronwyn, 50 points is correct. All right, that's question number 13 closed. Let's see, I do like that Gemma. You, I'll count it, you just snuck in there with the laughter points. Question number 14, which boxer was known as the greatest and the people's champion? Do I count, Ali? I think I need a full name. Gemma was first with the full name. Gemma and Bronwyn, you're tied for the lead. <laughs> Rocky. <laughs> I like that poll. Paul gets the funny point. The Amazon guy who picks my books. I like that too, Melissa. The packing department. Sting like a bee. We're all changing to Gemma's service provider. <laughs> All right, everyone give Telstra a call before the next one. Question number 14 is closed. 15, how long would it take to visit every beach in Australia if you could only visit one a day? Nobody's got it yet. More than two years, but less than a hundred years. But best go with years, guys. I, I can't translate this into days. <laughs> Garth. I like that, Garth. Funny point goes to you. <laughs> now it down between five years and 35 years.
More than 22 years. Yes, Gemma got it. 27 years. There are 10 at any of them. Yes, the actual answer has been given. Problem is, I can't tell if there's a delay in the, my receiving of the responses or a delay in your <laughs> receiving of the video. It was 27 years. We had the answer. I believe it was Gemma who got the point. <laughs> yeah, maybe we need to pre-organize teams. Guys, I don't know if, if the video is streaming slowly or if I'm getting your comments slowly. I feel like there's a delay, a big one happening right now. We'll try and move on. So end question number 15. Moving on, question number 16. What kind of animal is a firefly? More specific than an insect. What type of insect? Not a worm. A hot one. <laughs> I like that, Vanessa. Not a moth, it's about an ant. <laughs> Paul, I have to give you a point there. <laughs> yes, Cheryl, you got it first. It's a beetle. Jellyfish. Paul, you already got a funny point for that. Pig. <laughs> All right, closing off number 16. Number 17. What was the name of the prehistoric town in which the Flintstones live? Vanessa, that is correct, bedrock. How many of you are having to sing the song to remember where? Ah, oh, 
Do I count spelling? Yeah, she did technically say Fred Rock. Red Rock. Canberra. <laughs> Did someone say Rockhampton? I missed that one. I'll give her a pass on that. The F and the D are right next to each other on the keyboard, and I would probably do the same thing. <laughs> All right, closing off number 17. Number 18. How many months have 28 days in them? Yes, Gemma. Gemma got in first, but good job if you're saying 12 or all of them. All of them have 28 days in them. That is true, 28 does sometimes only have 28 in them. All right, closing up number 18. We've got two more questions. We're almost there. Gemma is in the lead. Bronwyn, you're behind, and you could catch up. And after that is Paul. All right. Number 19. The average person has about 22 square feet of what about their person? Yes, Gemma, skin. All right, guys, if you want to beat Gemma, you got to think of something funny. Space. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Garth. All right, I got to give Garth a point there. <laughs> All right, 19 is closed, the last question. I'll make it for double points. What has three hearts, nine brains, and blue blood? Misty chocolate, I like that for the last question. Octopus, Jane. The Blue Man Group. <laughs> Cheryl, the Royal Family.
Mr. Spock. I think uh, Cheryl got the funny point with the royal family. So, end of the trivia. That brings us to Bronwyn in second place, but our winner, Gemma. Well done. We can give her a virtual round of applause. Gemma, you're getting a roll of toilet paper and some hand sanitizer. I'm just kidding. I don't have any of that stuff. All right. Well, thank you very much, guys, for playing. Well done, Gemma. Uh, next one is going to be on Tuesday evening. I'm going to do a Guess the Lyric game show. So it's going to be all about song lyrics, figuring out what song they're from, what lyrics go next. Um, so it's going to be Tuesday at 6.30, and then I'll keep posting them on the meetups, all of the upcoming trivias and game shows. So thank you very much, guys, for joining me. I hope everyone had some fun, uh, got a bit of a break from the isolation boredom. Uh, if you enjoyed the video and you want to support me, the best thing you can do is to please check out my YouTube channel. That's my little isolation baby project. Um, so check it out, subscribe, like the video, share with friends, et cetera, et cetera. But thank you very much, guys, for playing, and I hope to see you next time. If I can figure out how to end the stream. There we go. Stay safe, guys. Oh, yeah. Sorry, on that note. If you have requests, just send me a message on Meetup. If you have, like, trivia requests or requests for time or day, send me a message on the Meetup, and I'll look into those. Thanks, guys. See you next time.